Hey guys, so this video is to review the Nano VNA version 2 that can support like 50 kHz until like 3 GHz. So let's check about it, what they have. So in the package, they have actually like just one USB and then the collaboration kits here. Okay, so you can see the collaboration kit of this one is the load. They have the Teflon in the middle. This one is the short. Okay. And then this one is the open. So open short load is here. And then this one is the true if you want to calibrate for two port. Okay, next is like the USB. We have the USB because like they have a USB port here as well. So you can plug in the USB and then you can connect to the PC or you can charge the Nano VNA as well because they are built-in battery. So they no need to... So they also can charge the Nano VNA and then you can use it remotely. Okay, so let's turn on the VNA. They have the turn on button here. So we just turn on so you can see the... They have like the four trays here. So actually we can just like touch screen and then we can check from here yeah the display okay we can remove we can remove the trace by pressing remove trace one trace two and trace three okay let's start with so we can check here like the log magnitude okay yeah the log magnitude here and then the db result is almost like negative zero db and then here is like the frequency. So the start frequency is like 100 megahertz until like stop the will be like 900 megahertz. So we start like we change the frequency range. It's like simultaneous here. So we can check it's like simultaneous stimulus here. So we can put like start and then we we know that we can support the 50 kilohertz starting frequency. We press it 50 kilohertz and then we change the stop to 3 gigahertz the maximum. Okay, now you can see here it's like 50 kilohertz, and then here it will be like 3000 megahertz, that means like 3 gigahertz. Okay, let's try out this antenna. This antenna is like 2.4 antenna. Then we just put in here. Okay, by the way, before this, you can see here like they have like channel 0, and this one is like S11, that means the refraction is here, so this one will be the port 1, and then the channel 1 here, so this one will be like port 2, so the S21 is here. Okay, and then here have the button actually is like three button here. So it's like uh, up and down button and then this one is the menu or enter. So we can like, let's see, I press this. So they will pull out this and then we can like choose like start. Then we can just press. Okay, and then go to the back. Just press this and then we can move. Yeah, so this is the button if you don't want to use the touch screen. We can use our finger as well. Okay, okay so let's try out the end. The antenna, remove the uh, remove the cap. Okay, so you can see actually it's a female port here. Then yeah, just plug in the antenna here. Okay, so this antenna is two point four five. So you can see the frequency is drop at two point four five. Then let's try put the marker. So we search for the marker display mm, no it's marker here and then check the search and the minimum so you can see it's like around 2.45 gigahertz and then the drop of the result is like negative 25 db okay so then we want to move the marker is like we can just choose like we can move like this left or right by ourselves just hold it Okay, so if you want to check for the minimum point, you can put it like minimum and then you also can choose like maximum Then we'll go to maximum or search for right Okay, right and then I'll search for the left Okay, so that's all for this antenna test Then let's try out the, yeah, we can show the smith chart as well So let's say like we turn on like the trace 2 or you can just like go to the display and then format you can choose like log or the face yeah or the delay or smith chart okay let's say we want the face we press the face they have the face here so let's say we want log we can just choose log okay so it's smith chart we just put smith chart so now just now the drop minimum is 2.45 so let's say we drag the marker to 2.45 yeah 
so you can see it's like nearly 50 kilohertz okay so you can see the 50 kilohertz is, is here okay next we will do for the calibration kit so let's calibrate the port one so first we go to the setting here click on it and then we search for cow and then calibration calibrate and then open short load through so it depends so we only just want to calibrate for one port then let's try it open okay press it press the oh. we run for the open yeah so you can see the open is pressed so done for open then we will do for the shot okay shot then we press shot wait for a while okay done next for the load so one is done they will have like black color highlight to the to the calibration part so this one is load so we just press load and then they wait for a while and then they will change and then they will highlight the load so when you are done, you just press on done. So our system is done correct. Okay. So we can save also the state of the calibration. So let's say we state save as two, then we can recall back. Yeah, I will show you later this one. Now we already calibrate for the port one. So you can see the return loss for the load is like nearly like negative 50. Okay, so uh, yeah. So even in the smith chart, there are like 50 ohms. So let's say I remove this one. I put it uh, open so you can see the there's nothing changed because it's open is here for in the smith chart. Okay. Next will be the shot. So they will turn to the left hand side for the shot after calibrate. Yeah. So it's really convincing. The result is like. It's quite impressed for this nano VNA, they have this kind of function. Okay, so this one is like just like cost around like so. This nano VNA is just cost around like 50 to 100 USD. Okay, so it's good for students to learn or beginner they want to know about the S parameter, they want to test their own antenna, their design. But the frequency range is just support until 3 gigahertz. Okay, okay, so let me show you just now the safe step that we calibrate. So let's say we turn off back this one. So remember our start and stop frequency will be like 50 kilohertz until like 3, 300 megahertz. So let's say I turn it off. Okay. So this one they have built in the battery so you can see the light is here. Okay. This one is the case. So let's try turn on back. So they will reset everything. So you can see it's like starting from 900 megahertz again. Then we will do like recall. So recall number two. So just now we surface two. So you can see it's like 50 kilohertz until 300 megahertz. So this one is the calibration. So we put it back the load. Yeah, they were also the same. Okay. To show the difference, let's say I turn it off. Turn on. Okay. So you can see it's like 900 megahertz. It's, it's reset again. So let's say I recall again. Two. So they will recall, same as our calibration that we set. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much.